Hi, today I would like to make some herbal patty in Persian it's called kuku sabzi means is a mixture of the herbs and we add a spice uh, some people like to add berries and nuts uh, and then you fry both sides uh, you become a vegetarian patty uh, today, I thought since Valentine's Day is coming, I make it look Valentine-y. So it would be a little change in my uh, herbal patty. Uh, all herbal patties always have uh, green herbs. You want to have about seven or eight green onion. Amount of the herbs, you can uh, use more as long as you uh, carry off the same uh, balance. That means green onion should be the most and then it's a flat leaf parsley. It must be flat leaf parsley. This is, I'm going to use like a, a two, one and a half a handful of the parsley. This is like a half of the one stack. This is one third of the stack of cilantro. All the cilantro is the last one third half full. This is how it's a balance of the herbs. You could use a pinch of the mint in it, one teaspoon of a dry dill in it if you like to. I always have garlic uh, using a fresh garlic in it. If I'm gonna put everything in the food processor and I'll chop them finely. Half a teaspoon turmeric, one fourth of the teaspoon black pepper, one full teaspoon of salt. You could adjust the salt due to your testing. So before you add the egg, test it. If you think you need more, add more. You could start from half a teaspoon and go from there. And this is my toasted chopped walnut. And this is my garlic powder and onion powder. It's mixed. It's about a teaspoon right here some vegetable oil to fry. My mother always had berberi in her cuckoo. Berberi is a smaller than uh, cranberry and it's tangy and it's available in all Persian stores and you can get it online uh, or you could just substitute that with cranberry which is make it sweeter. You require to have some eggs. Have a white bread I'm going to use a cookie cutter. Uh, you have to have one bigger, one smaller, uh, and it have to be the same shape. And since it's a Valentine's Day coming, I thought I'd make it in the hard shape. What I'm going to do is I have a slice of bread, and I'm going to cut it. with the bigger one and then I put the small one in the center and I cut it again. If you get the bigger slice of bread, it make it easier. So you would have a very good heart shape. My slice of bread, it's a little too small for This is my three garlic and the seven green onion and the one cup of unchopped cilantro and the, the parsley, it is almost two cup. You see, I didn't push it down. I just put them in it gently. I add it to my bowl. And this is my two cup flat leaf parsley. I mix my parsley, cilantro and green onion Right here, I have a salt, I have a pinch of the mint, uh, I have one fourth of the teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon of turmeric, I have a big pinch of the dill, I have mixture of onion powder and garlic powder, it's about half a teaspoon, and chopped walnut. I'm gonna add all this 
my mixture. I test it a little to see if it's enough for a salt. And this is my Burberry, which is about between one third of the cup to one fourth of the cup. But this uh, Burberry, or if you want to replace it with cranberry, it depends on your test. If you like more, add more. I like this uh, combination of green and a red and a walnut. Make it very valentine. -y. And to keep this together, we need to add some egg. I'm going to add the egg one at a time. I'm going to put it in the mixture. I'm going to mix it one at a time. I need more. I need one more. And this is my second egg. I beat it in the food processor, which I already chopped the vegetable in. It makes it easier to mix in. The two large egg was enough always depend on size of your egg okay I warm up my frying pan I put like a two or three tablespoon of vegetable oil it's hot right now I gotta tell you this thing has to be very quick because bread would burn very quickly I put my the ring bread in and I put about tablespoon in the center of my bread this thing gonna cook very quickly you cannot just leave it and walk away stick with it another bread put the heat on medium heat trying to fill it up the way it would emphasize in that hard looking shape it was on just regular medium I'm gonna put it medium high Wait to bread toasted and the, the patty separate from the pan see this is a still a sticky sticky this is a sticky this one is separating oh, look at that look how cute it is so I'm gonna fry both sides just have to be long enough to my bread is toasted and the egg mixture hardening in the center Okay, when one side was golden, I flip it to other side being golden too. Look how cute it is. My Valentine's patty are ready. It's a herbs and walnut herbery. This is how it look like. Look how cute is that. If you want to be Older, you could add a little butter into it when you fry. I kind of like to serve this with plain yogurt. And this is my yogurt. I'm going to add a little black pepper. If you like it, you can add some salt in it. Um, I don't need salt. And I do a little red flake. Let's pick one. Oh, I want to mention this. If when you cut it with a cookie cutter, it breaks it's okay when you put this you put the herb mixer in because of the egg it would glue back together okay this recipe it will give you 10 patties
a little yogurt sauce. Mm, look at that. Let's see. Oh my God, it's really nice. It's a little tangy with the yogurt and the berberry. It's crunchy with the walnut and those herbs. It's very nice and refreshing. And the toasted bread is a full meal for me. Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think.